A Head is for Hats by Mary Sofoso, illustrated by Katie Bratton. A Head is for Hats. A head is for hats and for holding your hair and for all of the thoughts that you think inside there. Oh, look at all the pretty hats. Oh. An ear on each side set in just the right place keeps your hat safe from sliding down over your face. Your ears are for hearing a whisper or shout, or a squeak, squawk, or honk, any sound that's about. Your eyes are for looking and seeing and spying. For reading your writing and just maybe for crying. Oh, too sad. The nose in between can smell cookies and cakes or a skunk in your bunk. Ooh, what a difference that makes. A mouth may be busy with speaking or eating. With singing and cheering or grinning and greeting. Your hands are for touching and painting and drawing. For working and waving and pounding and sawing. While feet are for standing and stamping and stomping and racing and chasing and clomping and romping. And that's how it goes from your nose to your toes. But is that all there is? No, as everyone knows. In between, there's a body with arms and legs too. When you add it all up, then it comes out to you.